happen, man. Yo. Yo, you, can't, you can't be doing this shit. Yo, you know what? This is why, this is why I keep a spare one in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only guy who does this. What's going on guys? Hope everybody's getting stuff done, doing well. Today we're about to grab some food with the homegirl Ivy. Do like a little picnic thing at Christy Pitts. About to be like a little chill thing, you know? But first things first, gotta get fly. Looking like a bum out here, Bruh. man. Let's get fly. And we back. Know some niggas that was doubted, yeah. Remember times I was clouded, yeah. And new flow got me sounding, yeah. Now make your girl think about it, yeah. And through the world I've been calling, yeah. And wish the girl like I'm uh, uh, uh. Got the homie Ivy. Ivy, break down the fit, break down the fit. Break down the fit, you got some. Garage shorts, you okay, guys okay. a Ritzia shirt. Okay. Got the cause I used to wear you thought you need clothes. Um you got the Adidas sandals. <laughs> oh. So we were supposed to go have a picnic at Christy Pitts. I'll get some Korean food, just chill. And um wanna tell them what happened? I got lazy. Bruh. Yeah, we got lazy. So we decided to just Uber Eats and uh Eats. Uber Eats some corn Korean corn dogs and um chill. <laughs> Fuck a picnic, it's too hot out. Okay. You'd love to see it. Picnic next week. So about two weeks ago, basically. This plan was supposed to happen like three weeks ago. <laughs> Just kept pushing it back every single week. But you know what? It's okay. Something ends weeks? up happening. We always end up having some type of meetup. But I'll link up with the House of Ballin' Boys. Just gonna put the whip in turbo because I'm kind of late. <laughs> Yo. You, can't, you can't be doing this shit. Evan, man. Yo, you know what? This is, why, this is why I keep a spare one in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only guy who does this. I keep a spare one in my pocket for you, boys. Don't worry. See? I put on, I put on nice and straight for you. Fam, we Googled <laughs> this. <laughs> Oh, I forgot. It was like this. Bruh. Yeah, guys, today we're about to go play some basketball. We rented a court in Mississauga. Got like a two hour ball session going. So, yeah. yeah what else can I say? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. Do I look like a dog? I don't have a vlog. What? <laughs> you mean vlog? Is it vlog? Boy, if you don't get. Yeah, that was a vlog. Ah, <laughs> shit. Uh, shit. Just reached the court not too long ago. Just getting some shots up. The other guys are late, but we're supposed to play some five on five. Rented the court out for like two hours, so hopefully they show up soon. Show me something, Evan. Show me something, Will. What's with the get up, man? Oh my god, he on X Games mode. It's time to get some shots up. King's Court. You already know, man. I dropped 45. Raymond, post game interview? Yeah, it was a good four games, three and a half runs. Uh, yeah, well fought. You know, my, my team has been putting some work. Big man Evan there. The MVP. Jordan Brown player of the game. Hey, Jordan Brown player of the game, MVP. Like, how was the, the game? It's hot. This fucker showed up an hour late, so I was tired. I'm not the same youngin I was before. It's about some water. Maybe a NOS. All right, that's the that's the review of the game. Quinton, what did you think of the whole experience? It was good. It was good. We uh, we late an hour, but what can we do? Jeez, no charisma at all. These guys, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, not, 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 
Hey, Ray, you good, bro? Jeez, no charisma at all these guys, eh? Bruh. The next day. Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? All right, so we're about to head to H&M. Check out some cargo pants, because i seen online they have these nice uh, little twill cargo pants. I know h and is kind of like shitty quality, but for 40 bucks, it doesn't seem too bad. So I'm going to go in store, go in person, check it out, see how the quality is. And uh, in the next clip, if I get them, I'll style them a couple ways. Usually, I don't really shop at H&M anymore. Like, I used to shop at H&M a lot. Over time, I've realized that like if you invest more money in just like a better piece of clothing it'll last you longer it'll be higher quality it's gonna look better and it's just gonna like elevate your outfit today we're just gonna take a look if it's good we'll cop it if not then on to the next it's so hot Flop. Uh, we couldn't really find the pants as you can see. I'll throw a picture up of the one that I actually wanted right here. But yeah, they didn't have uh, the same material. It's not like a shitty alternative. So on to the next. Know some niggas that was doubted. Yeah, remember times I was clouded. Yeah, and new flow got me sounded. Yeah, now make your girl think about it. Yeah, and through the world I've been calling. Yeah, and we should go like I'm on it. We're about to link up with the boys Simon and Will. I'm probably gonna grab some like patio food. Probably do a little uh, drinks and apps. Our right, boys, what we got going on today? Odd Soul. Boy Simon Yeah, a little drink, a little eat. Yeah, it's low key, so uh, we don't even know what to expect. It's so bright. You know what they say. Let's get her going. Yeah, it's like a little hole in the wall, kind of like uh, Korean fusion kind of bar spot. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, Guys, when I said hole in the wall, it did not mean I'm this. I'm telling you, I know the spots, man. Jeez. All right, we just ordered a lot of food that we're all gonna try together. We ordered about four or five dishes and we're just gonna split it. Everyone get. Uh, so right here, I got my Snow White and the ingredients include beef eater gin, <laughs> tozai nigori sake, uh, plus yuzu slash lemon syrup. All right. Just wrapped up the meal. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. break it down. What was your favorite dish out of everything um, we've shown? So, uh, my favorite meal was what we just had. Uh, my, my second favorite would be a squash potato. It's a close second. All right. You know, squash potato that always comes through. And this one's uh, second, you know? Yeah, honestly, I think the squash potato is probably the best dish out of everything, too. It was only nine bucks, and it was pretty good. We split it three ways, too, and it was still pretty filling. And just a lot of flavor, man. We got to try out the cheese steak, though. That was fire. We had the cheese steak, six bucks. And second, I would probably say the pork neck, because that was also like really tasty, big portion. And we split it three ways, too, and that was really good. But uh, out of everything, what would you guys rate the restaurant out of uh, out of 10? How many yeehaws out of 10 would you guys give this? Uh, <laughs> I give about eight yeehaw, yeehaw, yeehaw. Eight yeehaw. Eight yeehaw. <laughs> Eat in a haystack of meat <laughs> And a haystack. And a haystack. No way, Jose. Maybe, maybe I'll give it a chicken, too. That's, that's pushing it. Don't care. Well, <laughs> goddamn, that's pretty bomb, dude. Yeah, honestly, I would recommend this place. I would give it probably like eight and a half yeehaws out of ten donkeys. And, uh... No chickens, no eggs? No chickens, no eggs, man. We're off the poultry. What about, uh, you know, cow, cattle? 
Come on, man. Can I get a scarecrow with that? <laughs> All right, guys. Massive vlog. Thank you for tuning in. Look at all these chickens! <laughs>